uh, let's test it by default i have a normal gun with normal stats and you can see i deal one damage to the enemy with each bullet i can press e to switch to the next weapon and now i have a revolver which is much slower but also deals double damage i can press e again and i go to the plasma rifle which is really fast and deals a lot of damage and i can press q to go back and you can see that different weapons have different attack damage different attack cooldown and different bullet speed hi i'm ricky today we see a simple weapon switching system using scalable objects i use a 2d context for this project but this tutorial works also for 3d remember you can always download my projects for free from github and you can also join my discord channel if you need some help with your games all right so let's start i'm in a unity project the only thing i've done is renaming the scene changing the camera color and adding two sprites one for the player and one for the enemy you can see they have no other components inside i've also imported some images that i'll be using for the tutorial all right so let's start by making the player shooting system for now we'll just put the actual structure of the script and we see step by step how to fill it so let's select our player and let's make and add a new component called player shooting it's good practice to always put player before a script's name if that script is only gonna be on the player. If I just named the script shooting, I'm gonna assume that that script can be used for enemies that can shoot too. But in our case, this is strictly for the player, so I've named it player shooting. In here, we want a reference to the weapon we are currently holding. And then on update, we want to take the player inputs and shoot. And to shoot, we make another function. So in here, we'll take our current weapon and fire the bullet. All right, so our script starts by having a weapon. So let's make a script to make our weapons. We're gonna use scriptable objects. So back to Unity, let's make a new script. I've named it SO weapon, where SO stands for scriptable object. Let's add the scriptable object template We're gonna have multiple values in here. For now, let's just put a game object for bullet prefab. Before we go any further, let's go back to Unity. Let's create a new weapon. And here is our new weapon. Now, let's make a bullet prefab. So I'm gonna just use one of my images that I've imported. Scale it down and rename it to Gun Bullet. And let's add a rigid body component. I'm also gonna turn off gravity, but of course, based on how your game works, you may wanna use gravity. It depends on your game. Now let's make a prefab out of this. And now in our gun object, let's drag in our new bullet. All right, and now back to player shooting, we can now make a public so weapon value. We can already make the code to shoot, so let's do that now. Let's start by taking the player input. So I wanna shoot when I press L. Inside shoot, we wanna instantiate the current weapon's bullet. And for now, we'll just fire it at our current position with no rotation. We also want to set the velocity of our bullet so let's save the instantiated game object into a value. And let's get its rigid body. And for now, I'm gonna set the velocity to a fixed value. This way we're gonna make it shoot on the right, and that's it. In which direction we fire the bullet, for now it doesn't matter. Let's go back to Unity, let's select our player, and let's set the gun for our current weapon. And now if I press L, I'm gonna shoot a bullet. All right, so now we can shoot, but we can shoot all the time. We don't have any restriction. So let's add an attack timer. Let's go in our weapon script and let's add a float attack timer. And by default, I've set it one. Now in our player shooting, I'm also gonna make a float attack timer. And these two values that we just made, they're gonna interact with each other. Now in update, Let's decrease attack timer if it is measured than zero. 
and when we want to shoot, let's check whether the attack timer is equal or less than zero. And now when we do shoot, we reset our attack timer value, the one we are trying to decrease in update, based on our current weapon's value. And that's it, back to Unity. Let's make a new weapon to show different timers. In this case, it's gonna be a revolver, so it's gonna be a bit slower. And let's also make a new prefab. So I'm gonna drag in the normal gun bullet prefab, unpack it, change the name, and the sprite. And here's our new prefab. Let's drag it into the weapon, and we're good to go. Now in our player, our current weapon is the gun, so if we shoot, we shoot with a gun, and our attack timer is set to 1 second. If we switch to the revolver weapon, now we shoot the revolver bullet, and you can see that we're shooting slower. We can always go back to the gun, and now we shoot the gun bullet. And you can see that the only action that we have to do is changing the weapon value. Now it's just a matter of doing that through code. So in player shooting, let's add an array for all the weapons in possession. We're gonna shift through each of these weapons in possession to switch our weapon. So let's also add an int value that's gonna act as our index. And to actually switch weapon, we're gonna do that in update, but right now there's a lot of stuff so I'm actually gonna take this and refactor it, much better. So let's make a new function to switch weapon. I name my functions with try and then the name of the function when I have to take some kind of input from the player. For example, in try shoot, we first have to check for the attack timer and for the player to press a key before we actually shoot. So I name the function try shoot. In the same way, before we switch our weapon, we first have to check for the player input. That's why I said try switch weapon. All right, so in here, let's make an int value that's gonna be the same as our current weapon index. I've called it weapon index to go do because that's the actual value that we're gonna try and change. And then if there is a weapon with that index, then we switch to that weapon. You get what I mean later. Let's get the player inputs for Q and E. And based on whether we press Q or E, we decrease or increase the index to go to. All right, and now with this weapon index to go to, we check whether that weapon with that index exists. So of course, if the index is less than zero, that weapon can't exist because array starts from position zero. We also have to check for the other side. So if our array has two elements, zero and one, we don't want our index to be two or major. And finally, if the index I want to go to is the same of our current weapon's index, that means we didn't press anything, and so we return as well. All right, so after we've done all these checks, we can actually switch our weapon. It's very simple, we just say current weapon is equal to our weapon array, index to go to. And then we set our current index to the index that we just went through. And that's it, let's go back to Unity and let's fill the array. Make sure that the element zero is the same of our current weapon. We'll see how to fix this issue later, but for now let's just hit play and now I can shoot. If I press E, I get to the revolver, if I press Q, I go back to the gun, and if I try to press Q again, nothing happens, and if I press E too many times, nothing happens. So we are error proof. Alright, 
And now let's make it so that our current weapon is set automatically at the start to our element that's here. So let's make our current weapon private. And on awake, we set it to the element zero. So the element zero of our weapons array matters because that's gonna be our current weapon by default. So now back to Unity, the current weapon values has gone, and now if we play, by default we have the gun. Perfect. Before we continue, let me organize this a bit. Okay, and now let's see how to add different damage for different weapons. So let's start by adding this damage value to our weapons. And by default, I've set it to 1. Now back to Unity, let's get the normal gun bullet prefab, and let's make and add a new component called bullet. In here, let's also make an attack damage value. We don't want to set this value in the inspector, so let's also hide it. And now in player shooting, when we shoot a bullet, let's also get its bullet component. And let's set its damage based on our current weapon's damage. Perfect. And now we can assign different damage values to different weapons. Before we do so, let's make sure that all our bullets have this bullet script. So our gun bullet, we added it, so it's here. And let's do the same for revolver. Ideally, you want to use prefabs and prefab variants for your bullets, so you can have different type of bullets share the same properties, like for example, the bullet script. In our case, let's just do it one by one. Now, having different bullets deal different amounts of damage is kind of useless if we don't have something to shoot at. So we have to check for the collision for the bullet and the enemy. So let's add a collider. And set it to its trigger. I'm gonna copy this. And now in our normal gun bullet, do the same. Alright, so now our bullets have collision boxes. Let's also add one to our enemy. And let's also make a new tag for our enemies. So now let's select our enemy and set it to tag enemy. And now in our bullet script, let's detect when we enter an enemy. So let's use on trigger enter to D. Let's see if what we hit has the enemy tag. And if it does, we want to deal damage to the enemy and destroy the bullet. Back to Unity, let's select our enemy and let's make another new component called enemy. This is going to be very simple. Let's just put an int value for the enemy health. And by default, I'll set it to 10. But that's it for this script. We're not going to implement a take damage function. We're going to implement a death function or anything. This is just to show how much damage each bullet does. So now back into bullet, we take the enemy script. And we decrease its health based on the attack damage. Now back to Unity, let's select our weapons. And now for our gun, we're gonna have, let's say, half a second for a timer and one damage. While for the revolver, we're gonna do one for the attack timer and two for the attack damage. Let's select our enemy and hit play. And now if I shoot with a normal gun, I deal one damage to the enemy. You can see its health here. And I shoot at a normal speed. I switch weapons to the revolver, and I can shoot much slower, but I also deal two points of damage each time. Perfect. Finally, let's add different bullet speed for different bullets. So back to our weapon script, let's add a float value for the speed. And by default, I've set it to nine. And now in player shooting, and now when we shoot, instead of saying nine as a fixed value, we take our current weapon speed. There we go. I'm gonna make a new weapon to show all the different speeds. It's gonna be a very strong plasma rifle, so I'm gonna set the attack timer to be really low, and increase the damage to, and the bullet speed, we're gonna set it to 25. I'm also gonna make the revolver a bit slower, so five. And now for the plasma rifle bullet, let's again drag out a prefab, change the sprite, 
In this case, the sprite is a bit smaller, so I'm also going to adapt the collider and change the name. Let's unpack it and drag it in. And finally, select the plasma rifle and put in the new plasma rifle bullet. And now to actually add it to our player, we just select our player and add it to the weapons in possession array. Uh, let's test it. By default, I have a normal gun with normal stats, and you can see I deal one damage to the enemy with each bullet. I can press E to switch to the next weapon, and now I have a revolver, which is much slower, but also deals double damage. I can press E again, and I go to the plasma rifle, which is really fast and deals a lot of damage. And I can press Q to go back, and you can see that different weapons have different attack damage, different attack cooldown, and different bullet speed. Alright, so that's it for this video, I hope you learned something new. If you have any doubts or any suggestions for the next topic, do tell me in the comments. Remember, you can always download my projects for free from GitHub, and if you have some trouble, you can always ask me in the comments, or you can join my Discord channel where we can chat in real time. And make sure to also follow me on Twitter, where I'm always telling what I'm doing next. Right now, I'm also developing a new game for PC, it's called AA, and there's a teaser trailer and a gameplay video, all links in the description. Alright, and of course, like, subscribe, share the video and all the stuff, and I'll see you next time. See ya!